And we are back. Welcome back, everyone, to the Chatween Show, the best and brightest Star Wars show in the galaxy, filled with a wretched hive of scum and villainy. We're here every Wednesday nights talking about all things Star Wars, and tonight I am joined with Lunga, Pop Memes, and of course, I'm Star Wars only. Um, I wouldn't say this is a lot to get into. This is a very interesting topic that kind of came out of nowhere yesterday by Forbes. They were talking about a recent article by Forbes going over the details of Disney's financial numbers for all five Star Wars movies in the last 10 years and reveals that Disney most likely has not made back all their money from buying Lucasfilm, at least according to what this article is saying and everything. This is just one person. Um, and Daisy Ridley also has some news about her Ray Star Wars movie and the script about that. And at the end, we'll be talking about Ubisoft already pissing fans off with another good old-fashioned paywall. So all that and more here on Chats of Ween. Before we start, please don't forget to leave a like and follow all of our social support the show. with the super chat if you want, or you, know, you can respond and uh, become a... a Channel member and, and hugely support us. Um, I was going to throw this. Oh, I haven't turned. Names, on, I haven't turned on channel memberships yet. I haven't turned those on. I, I mean, oh, you want I didn't to turn those on. <laughs> yeah, the super chats are on. The super stickers are on. I didn't turn on memberships yet. Are we even able to do that yet, or is that a yeah. thousand? No, no, oh, we okay. can turn on memberships if we want to. Um, All right, very cool. We'll, we'll but, start. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start offering stuff uh, for that. I'm sure um, we'll, we'll figure more of that stuff out, and especially around the time the acolyte comes out. So yeah, chats. We got we got things in the work, you know, up and coming uh, big projects. You know, we're, we're, we'll be might be revealing a documentary about chats. We behind the scenes and the Civil War the that Civil has been raging War, on, never ending for years. And don't forget that <laughs> time we were all nuclear in, um, here. It's about yeah, to get nuclear. And, is that a Fallout reference? Because that that show's been pretty good. And so is great Shogun. show, um, great uh, show. Last night's last night's Shogun pissed me off though. I'm wow, percent off in the feed. Is that Donald J. Trump? Donald Trump has spoken. You all are a bunch of liberal, nonsensical people. That'll fucking do it. That I mean, we're gonna go viral. On, it's um, it's done. His, his, his Wait a minute. Social. Why why does Pebble Memes have his own pop up chat in his video screen? Get out of here. Because I have control over Get my it. own. <laughs> My body, my choice. Yeah. Right? Well, <laughs> well, you know, you know, you, you, know you, you, you know, you know, you know, you know what I have control over. Your fucking view. That's what I have control <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll oh just get God. even more rage monstery as we go on like that. Yeah. It won't become doom and gloom, palps. It'll become... Um, It'll, I told you nuclear. It's going nuclear with this topic. Search and destroy, palps. Uh, th- all right, well, let's get into this this Forbes article, which... I, I, pa- pa- memes, you, you're the one who sent this to me. This this is the, the thing that you kind of broke to me when you sent me this link and everything. And, um, you know, we, we texted about it a little bit. Because this was kind of a shocker to people like us, and I don't even know if I'd call this a shocker. I, I don't know how to feel about this fully. At it's the moment, eye opening, but, well, I would say. Well, yeah, yeah eye opening is a great yeah. way to put it. it but but yeah. what what was your initial reaction when you saw this article and you read this article? Yeah, I mean, I've read this thing multiple times because there's a lot of information. There's a lot of data numbers. You just want to make sure you get it right and stuff. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, think, "Oh, I'm always negative. I'm always this and, and that." Uh, it, it shocked me. I've I've always heard that the rise of Skywalker barely broke even or didn't even make money and that was probably the biggest shocker to me is how much money that damn movie has costed but uh we know why now i've been saying how much this movie was reshot they basically refilmed like half of it uh so it's no surprise to me on how like that it costed a lot but 550 million um the first thing i want to get into real quick is kind of the context of this article and a lot i've seen a lot of people online just blatantly miss out on that i don't know if that's just because they refuse to read it and they just come to their own conclusion based on not reading it uh, or whatever it is but this article stemmed from a recent quarterly earnings call an investors meeting that happened uh during a very uh, critical time with disney and that of which uh there's a lot of investors a lot of the top people investing specifically nelson peltz is trying to uh i want to say overthrow bob Iger, just because it's an exaggerated term but basically get someone to replace bob Iger because they're just not happy with the way disney has uh been handled he wanted to become a board regime. member that, that, that yeah, was exactly the whole thing, right uh and so that's why you had george lucas talking about him because george is you know, now supposed to be a supporter of Iger and all that. But anyways, uh, to get to it, within that meeting and, and investors call, they revealed a very beautiful graph, had great colors and looked fantastic of the revenue. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Potential revenue sp- stream or predicted revenue stream for Star Wars over the past 12 years since the ownership of Lucasfilm and TakeOver, uh, which gave us a number of 12 billion and it showed these great big high numbers for the movies we had force awakens at two point whatever billion dollars last jedi at 1.5 billion rise of skywalker at 1 billion rogue one at 1 billion and solo at you know the little child in foster care uh 300 million and so it looked really great 
but this article came out basically calling that out debunking that that this is an insinuation that's not true uh and to our surprise um these movies one didn't you didn't make nearly as much and the reason for that is because they costed way more money than we have been public publicly led to believe uh these numbers do come from disney this comes from an 800 page filing and this journalist i can't it was her name stephanie i can't remember uh she did a great job of due diligence and getting these numbers from this filing report and found uh, a lot of interesting numbers that these movies costed a shit ton to make. I mean, a lot of money to, to make. We also have some stuff we'll talk about when it comes to the tax breaks they got for filming in the UK and stuff. It was about 25%, which gave them around $100 million per movie, depending on the budget of that, which is which is, which is is good for them, obviously. Um, but I guess my initial reaction was definitely shock. Uh, and my hope is that people will take this, look at it, and do proper reading with it. And come to an actual conclusion on what's going on. I'm not going to sit here and say this means Star Wars failed. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, these numbers are all fake because they forgot to, they, they deliberately left out merchandise and gaming numbers and books when the article already addressed that, guys. Uh, but only I'll let you get back to it with, with what we're going to be talking about. Yeah, I mean, th there's a lot to read from this article. Um, and, and so there there is a lot to get to in this. So it, it is going to be a little winded. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm probably going to read a good good chunk of this article. So we're going to sit back and relax for a second. But L Lunga, um, do you have a chance to look at this article? Can you can you give us your? Uh, uh, kind of I'm kind of skimming it now. First of all, um, let's 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 start off with this. Regardless of what you says, the moment you're telling me that there's a Star Wars article on Forbes, I already fifty percent don't give a fuck. Okay, because it's <laughs> Forbes. Um, I this article is the. I this is I feel like Anakin. I hate sand. This is what this article feels like. It feels like I'm eating sand. It is the driest, most boringest fucking thing in the world. Oh, they spent a lot of money. They made a bunch of money, but they didn't make as much money as they said because they spent more money than we thought. Who gives a fuck? I do. Honestly, I'm sure you yeah, do. I, did I, you I, want I, them to did you want did you did you want them to spend uh, 50 million dollars to make the trilogy movies? Is that what you wanted? How much no, did you want them to spend? How, did like you want? How, let, let me ask you. Ask me a question. Let me answer it. Given how much they had. Yeah, to make it. it make it in two two issues. sentences or less, please. Not will, not three hours. You ask me a question. I'm gonna answer it. Uh, given the sequel trilogy and how how that was handled, it's very nice to see that because of the production issues and the management issues and how much they had to reshoot. Uh, it's interesting to see that the consequences of that and it costed a absurd amount of money. I, there's my two sentences for you. That's yeah, thank you. It's thank you for that very political speech without answering my question. I'm like, I asked you, how much did you I want them to spend? You, I, how much did I want them to spend? I, I go, really how much did you want? As you long want? as they give me a, I couldn't care less as long as they give me a okay. good product. Gotcha. Yeah. Now. I care about the spending, I'll be honest. Hold on. Do, well, hold on. Yeah. Hold on now. Hold on now. Again, we've established, and I don't want to rehash this fucking argument over again. Well, made the movie's bad as the writing. Okay. The expensive part of it, the ex We Let's have we have it. established this, okay? I can guarantee you the biggest chunk of the payroll is three things. Actors, marketing, CGI. Those are the three most expensive things in a movie. Not inherently okay? true because this number was without marketing costs. So that's... I, 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 I'm just letting sure. you know. Yeah. I sure. I told you those were the three most expensive things out. So if you take out marketing, what's left? Actors, salaries, director salaries, crew, and CGI. Okay? The, not many people had any problems unless, um, you know, unless you want to talk to people who hated fucking Daisy Ridley. The actors were fine. Okay? And, this, and no one had complaints about the CGI or effects or costuming in the trilogy. And the sets okay? were great. Really? That, that was a lot of money. So, so imagine. a good chunk, a good chunk of that money that you're bitching about went to the few things that made the movies good. Papa memes. Okay? I'm not bitching about it. I'm saying due to oh. the poor management of it, it costs You are, it, but you are bitching about it. Much. And I, I know you're saying poor managing. It. Why are you saying poor managing? Are you saying when you have if the movies were better, half? hold on, if the movies were subjectively better, then this money's warranted. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm simply making an acknowledgement. I'm making an observation based on what's going on. 
I'm not. I don't have any strong opinion no, on this. Your words. You, you said they. You I'm said they mismanaged. You, no, that's yes, not what I asked. That is not the question. You, okay. Yes, you did. You, you did. But, but but there's different levels of this mismanagement. It's not just mismanaging what Lunga's talking about. Hold on. The cost of things. I asked how much. Asked. Literally, you have answered four questions that I didn't ask, and then said the question I asked is not what I asked. I have asked you over and over again how much did you want them to spend. I go what what this is what they spent. That's what I need to make these movies. I said I don't so care. Why, so why? So why? Why are you saying I asked why you cared? That's not what I asked. I did not did ask actually. that question you at say, all. Why are you interested in this? Did, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. And and I gave you the. I did not ask that question. You did. You Tell say, me. Yeah, I don't know. If I did not ask that question. I said in my rhetorical response to only saying, "What do you think, Lunga?" I said, "Who cares." That's a rhetorical question yeah, of my response. That was not me asking you, Pebble Memes. No, you why did. do you care? You did, and I said, "Let me answer." That did not say that. Sentences. Yes, you did. Let's you move on because I did not. I didn't. I did, dude, we'll go dude. Back I said, "Give me your answer in two sentences." And the answer to the question was, "Why? How much did you want this movie to be spent? How much did you want them to spend?" That was the question. The only question. Right. The entire no. question. No, you first asked me, "Why do I care?" Put it in two sentences. I made that answer. Then you said, "That's that's a flat." Okay, and then right now. Either you didn't hear me, you weren't listening at all, or you're flat out lying, because that's not what I said. Okay. At that's all. Fine. That's fine. That's yeah, fine. I'll anyway. roll back the fucking tape. Let, let, I will let, bring up the tape. Let, 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 let's, uh, let's get into the nitty gritty of this, though, because that is where I think a lot of these kind of arguments do lie um, on what this did cost. I am curious about the marketing aspects of it, too, and how much that cost, because what blows my mind is, according to this article, is that they really only made like $1.2 billion from all five of the movies that Disney Star Wars has made. And that, to me, is almost asinine to even think of or say, considering The Force Awakens alone made $2.1 billion, and that the the budget for this was just so astounding that they only made $1.2 billion from all five. I mean, that 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 is very hard for me to wrap my mind around. So um, light up a cigar or a blunt and pull up a beer in a chair and um, read the article, re read you a nice little telltale. Um, I have a nice voice, so this might be nice for you, I guess. So the article says box office pro uh, profits generated by Disney Star Wars movies have fallen 2.8 billion short of covering the media giants purchase of the sci-fi saga's creator Lucasfilm, according to analysis of recent filed financial statements. Disney bought Lucasfilm for $4 billion in 2012 and soon gave the green light to a new trilogy of Star Wars movies, which teamed up rising stars Daisy Ridley and John Boyega with Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and the late Carrie Fisher, who headlined the original movies more than 30 years ago. All the stars aligned when The Force Awakens uh, was the first film and the new series was released in 2015. According to the industry analysis box office mojo, it grossed a staggering $2.1 billion, causing Disney to commission two spinoff movies as well as the two sequels that were already planned. However, as the series continued, there was a disturbance in the force due to an over-reliance on computer-generated effects and a lack of the gritty, quirky characters who made the original movies smash hits. Um, they kind of go on to talk about stuff about like the uh, Mandalorian, how big of a success was that, but we're going to kind of skip on to that. Um, the declining interest in Disney's initial trilogy of movies seems like a distant memory, and the mouse has made the most of it. Last month, Disney released a 67 presentation singing the praises of its chief executive officer, Bob Iger, in a bid to convince stockholders to side with him in a battle with activists and investors. One of its key boasts was about the supposedly spellbinding return on investment generated by the franchise that Disney acquired under Iger. The presentation gives the impression that Disney Star Wars trilogy uh, generated a 2.9 times return on the purchase of Lucasfilm as that figure is uh, presented next to a timeline of key events in the production company's history. They included the release of the Disney movies which and, it, and its acquisition of Lucasfilm which is the only milestone market star. Uh, adding to this impression is the fact that the other end of the timeline is the Star Wars logo and a photo of the Mandalorian with his little green friend. However, buried in the first, uh, buried in the fine print is a revelation that the purchase price of, of Lucasfilm isn't even included in the ROI calculation. ROI means return on investment for anyone who doesn't know. Instead, it is clearly based off the box office performance of Disney Star Wars trilogy, its two spinoff movies, merchandise, DVD, and Blu-ray sales. As revealed, the methodology is questionable as Disney based the ROI revenue generated by the movies, merchandise, DVDs, um, they made. And oh, rather than they so they used the ROI that they made from all of these movies and merchandise and everything rather than the profit that they should have put in using the revenue rather than the profit um, artificially inflates the results as it doesn't factor the cost that Disney had to pay out. 
Even when this wasn't enough for the media giant, it also forecasts the revenue that expected that the Star Wars movies, merchandise, DVDs, and Blu-ray sales would generate over a 10-year period and based a calculation off of that too. In other words, Disney hasn't actually received the revenue that it used to calculate the return on its investment. In summary, despite seeming to do so, Disney's presentation doesn't actually reveal whether its Star Wars movies have covered the cost of its purchase of Lucasfilm. There may be good reasons for this. Um, the analysis of more than 800 pages of the company filings has revealed that the cost of making Disney's five Star Wars movies hit a total of $2.1 billion. God damn! Peaking at $567 million on The Force Awakens. However, that's just a start. Uh, so I want to stop there for a second because Longa's clearly going to fall asleep to this god-awful, boring fucking Forbes article. $500 million for The Force Awakens and you're telling me that doesn't include marketing? That's fucking insane. I, I I cannot understand. Do you not believe that? I guess I'm, I, I'm I guess I'm lost in your your presence. Because right now. do you disagree where, with that number? Yes, I did. Because when they reported this budget, they were saying it's two hundred and fifty million dollars. Right. They lied and they left out a lot of factors for the total. They budget. left out two hundred and fifty. Yes. Mi- I do not believe that. Clearly, I do not for a second believe that. Okay, like that's why I brought up the fact that this comes from this eight hundred page uh, filing for Disney. And this journalist, along with other people, went through it and found these numbers. Are you telling me that these numbers they directly found from this are just, ju- they're just wrong. They just, they came out of the, from the sky and, you know, no, now we suddenly there's have no context. There's no fucking breakdown. There's just a big number. That's it. Yeah, there is context. This, dude, this journalist is saying, trust me. I know. I, no, 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 I need is you if read I, the filing if, which, report. It's public. I, have you read the entire filing report, Papa Memes? No, but I'm going to take her word for it because she's a journalist. Exactly. <laughs> she has over 15 years of experience. Sure, because journalists her... will never, oh, will never yeah. swing yeah. things. Okay, so, okay, let me throw you this at then. If she just lied about this number, yeah, Forbes would be getting no. sued by Disney right now. Yes. Did not say lie. It is something that I already was saying to you all day today. Is you could take numbers okay. and statistics and politicians and and people with and they use statistics in any way, shape, or form always do this. They take the numbers which are pure raw numbers and then they they sprinkle a little bit of subjectivity, present it a certain way, and make it appear one way. And the other side can do the exact opposite, and it's the exact same set yeah, of numbers. I know I'm fully okay? aware of that, but she's simply putting out the actual numbers of what it costs sure. them for the film. I failed to see where the issue is with that. She's not coming to. I need to. I need to see what a breakdown that. is of that because just well, like I, just I, like I, I only is saying that sounds that you, crazy. Sure. Sure, I yeah, would be willing honestly, to bet even, that, even hold on, hold on, if filings. you read through the filings on the Lucasfilm parts, you would probably get that breakdown. It's uh, 800 I'm, I'm pages. Look, I'm looking at it right now, and I'm doing control search for keywords like Lucasfilm and Star Wars, and it, it, it is not that detailed, of course. Um, it, yes, it does have the listing of... 800 pages, pages, and it's not that detailed? <laughs> I mean, as in detail, where I can easily look at this and be like, oh, hey. Well, I mean, this is something that's out to all the stock, uh, stockholders as well and everything. To, and know, hold on. So is this is for, 800 yeah. films, this is just for Lucasfilm? That's what this no, 800 no, no, pages no, no, no. is? No, no, it's, no. no, it's, no. It's, it's over the whole Oh, okay. Well, well, there we go. The First of all, we need to shave off probably about a good 700 pages that have nothing to do with <laughs> Lucasfilm. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a lot to get to. Um but, but, I mean, okay, I understand what he's saying, though, of taking this lady, not completely at her word, but trusting that she looked at this uh, properly, one would hope. And, um, oh, maybe I'm getting... Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Now. Okay, I, I want to make this very clear. Uh, because there's a lot of misinterpretations about me and how I view things. If it comes out, and another journal- journalist, or fucking a YouTuber, if Star Wars Explained comes out with the video, or whatever it is... And disproves this article, goes through the filings, and proves that the information she was getting was wrong for reasons X, Y, and Z, and that the numbers she was giving were off. It's not even it's not, no, no, one, no one's saying the numbers are wrong or off. It's how the numbers are being distributed. That's well, what I, I want to know. I, I am the question, but Han, I am questioning the numbers, though, because, I, like I'm saying, $567 million for The Force Awakens. That, I mean, that is, that is beyond, in a way, the most expensive film that was ever made. If that is absolutely true. And that has never once ever been reported on at all. And Disney probably, uh, not probably, I know they do quarterly earnings and stuff. And I know they do, well, they, I mean, Jesus, it's Disney. They have these numbers constantly that probably have been. So the idea to me that there was a missing $250 million in the Force Awakens budget that just magically 
popped out of nowhere in this article that they were like, oh, by the way, it took an extra, it, it was double the actual budget. Where did that money go? Because there's no way that is that is all the cost of that movie, of production, the salaries, and, and everything. Now, if you told me this was including marketing, all right, I can understand and believe that. But the way this has been presented by some, and Pal means we had conversations of this over through text and everything, is that what this article is trying to say is that something like The Force Awakens, with its $2.1 billion in the box office, because of it being $500 million um, in the budget and everything, it really actually only ended up making around $500 million. That's right. where comparative I'm like, Whoa. To what, 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 Comparative to what? $750 million? What do you mean $750 million? Where, where is What it? it would be if, if the number was right of it being $200. What, what, what was the original number for, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. The, the movie made $2.1 billion and it yes, cost $250 yes. million to make. That's right. like a billion point eight in profit. You no, had marketing. Not. No, it is not. Not even close. Outside of the opening weekends, box, or I'm sorry, theaters typically take about 40 to 50, sometimes 60% of Not the case sales. with Disney Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, when it comes to Rise of Skywalker, yeah, they that number definitely dropped. We don't have the exact number. Maybe it was 30%. I, I, I have a hard time believing it would be less than 30% for the opening few weeks of Rise of Skywalker. But was this also with Force Awakens that they made theaters take way less of a cut? Oh, I can't yeah. remember. I, I remember this just being Rise of Skywalker, but I, I'll take your word for it. Uh, that said, you, we have to throw that number in there. You have to throw that. Okay. Doing basic math on my, my little fucking iPhone calculator. If <laughs> theaters got, if theaters truly took 35% of, and this was the reported cut for The Last Jedi. Um, well, I, th I think they were using that as a reference because okay. Disney an average a lot of theaters. Okay, yeah, yeah so I, I did 35%. So if Disney kept 65% of that $1.8 billion in profit in the box office, that's still $1.1 billion. Where is that? In this, according to this article, they only made five hundred million. So where again is that other five hundred million dollars? That's where I do have a problem with this article. Of like, I cannot believe this. This film this, cost double what it was reported I, to make, and made just me, less than a third of what it was reported to make. This, 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 this. Now, this, this is pure speculation. Okay, I'm just trying to, from what I see here, because I only go by what they're fucking telling me. OK, and just like we all do, we try to interpret it. Right. That's why that's why religion is the way it is with the fucking Christianity, because everyone interprets the Bible the way they want to fucking interpret it. What they go into here and it, it, to me, this almost seems like a, um, a a lesson on what's what studios do. And it's just being highlighted in this thing with 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 Star Wars. But they talk about how. Oh, to split up costs and to they, they have to divest into these subsidiary companies and it's all split up that way. And that's how they get the different cuts and this and that. This feels like to me, this isn't Lucasfilm spending. It's all these different subsidiaries that maybe are owned by Disney and are all lumping it in and saying, this is how much the movie costs to make. But because, oh, they're subsidiaries of Disney's, that means that's how much Lucasfilm paid to make this movie. And, and, and to me, that seems a little, if that's the case, because that's a big chunk of the article is dis, is describing how that's done. That seems a little disingenuous to me because that almost thing makes me feel, honestly, this is what all studios do. I, this is not something unique to no, Star Wars. But, but, but I know, and I 100% believe that some of the movies, especially with the financial side, we've seen this with the the, the Coyote movie that they were going to do, and then it's been scrapped and everything, and they're trying to bid it to some other people, and it may never see the light of day. The same thing with the Batgirl movie for a tax write-off, stuff like that. I 110% believe these studios and big companies like Disney you know, fudge the numbers a lot and spend maybe more than what they report. I don't believe, at least just based off like what I'm saying in this article, that $500 million was spent on The Force Awakens production budget, and that doesn't include the marketing cost of everything, and that this movie only made, really, in the end of the day, like $500 million in the box office um, in terms of profit. That's just, uh, there's too much, uh, question, too many questions I guess I have for me to believe this. And maybe I'm maybe I'm 110% wrong. I, I very well could be, because the lady did go over the article and everything. But it's stuff like that where I'm like, wait a minute. Well, Star Wars, uh, I, I, fully, I fully agree with you. There's a lot of shit that we do not know. And I don't think any of us are claiming to know. Uh, yeah, like I said, if something comes out that basically disproves this article, it's like, here's why that number is high and why it's not actually a, a, um, actually a number that you can take away from Lucasfilm's profit margins, then absolutely. There we go. That'd be great. 
Uh, well, 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 there is one thing that I think can help, uh, at least with kind of further this conversation on what they're doing with that money or stuff like that, is the, the UK part of this. Um, in the article, it says, mindful of this blockbuster budget, Disney devised an ingenious way to make money back on the movie. And this is something that I think Longo is kind of referring to, like a lot of studios do this. Instead of shooting it in the United States, it chose Pinewood Studios in the United Kingdom, where the original trilogy of films was made. This enabled it to benefit from the UK government's audiovisual expenditure credit which gives studios a cash reimbursement of up to 25.5% of the money they spend in the UK, provided that it represents at least 10% of the film's total cost. At the start of this year, the UK government slightly raised the reimbursed ceiling from 25% in the face of competition from other countries which are offering similar schemes. It has helped the, the, to make the UK a dream ticket for movie makers, and according to British Film Institute, foreign studios contributed about 77% of the $1.8 billion they spent on making films in the country the last year. Which with so much at stake, Disney didn't take any chances and got endorsed endorsement from the UK government right from the start. In 2004, Treasury Secretary George Osborne proudly announced that the Pinewood would not just be the home to The Force Awakens, but also its two sequels. This will mean more jobs and more investments, he said. It's great news for the people working at Pinewood Studios, from the set designers to the carpenters. The production also had an impact farther uh, afield, um, setting, oh, sorry, sets featuring the iconic Millennium Falcon and X-Wing spaceships were built at the Royal Air Force Base about 55 miles west of London, whilst uh, it keeps going about these locations where they're filming stuff. Um, using the staff wasn't the only catch that came with the generous financial incentives. Movie budgets are actually usually, all right, my bad. Movie budgets are usually a closely guarded secret uh, as studios tend to absorb the cost of individual pictures and their overall expenses and don't itemize how much they spent on each one. So that's where that discrepancy of, you know, 250 fucking million dollars might come in. Um, however, the costs of the movies made in the UK are consolidated in single companies, which file annual financial statements showing the cash reimbursement, headcount, salaries, total expenses, and more. The production companies usually have code names so they don't raise attention when filming. We've, we've known this for years. Um, a condition of receiving the cash reimbursement is that the companies must be responsible for everything from pre-production to delivery of the movie and paying for services related to the finished films. Um, the last little part about this, I guess, that helps the Force Awakens case is that it keeps talking about this reimbursement that they get. Another reason that the companies often file financial statements around um, a year after the period they cover. This is why the last uh, results for the Foodles were filed in December 2023, yada, yada, yada. Um, surprisingly, that isn't um more than disney expected blah 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 blah. um it talks something about uh, there then comes the cash reimbursement which was a whopping 92 million dollars bringing in movies net cost down to 475 million um so they're talking about basically this whole little fucking rundown was they got tax incentives from the uk to film the force awakens there 25 so percent yeah that's not a that's not a light amount either you know for, for no, not when you're spending like hundreds of millions of dollars no it's not yeah, but, it, but yes, the hundred million dollars. Though it's, I still feel like it's in that two to three hundred million dollar range. This five hundred million thing, I, I guess if they did spend it, maybe it would well, actually. I guess, just yeah, let's do the math. Then what's I mean, take what, what would be you know seventy five percent more of the, the ninety whatever million. Uh, does that add up to your your uh, five hundred whatever okay. million dollar number? Now hold on a second. So in that article. There's another link where, where, where it says, as revealed, the methodology is questionable. And that link was another article about Disney's financial wizardry. And, and I'm Doesn't reading into Forbes? this. Yeah, it's also Forbes. Um, and it talks, and I have to scroll down quite a bit. And they're talking about how the fine print states that the ROI calculation is based on titles released following Disney's acquisition of the IP, which is the big deal about this. So this is after the $4 billion spent or not, you know, blah, 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 mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, and, it, and it says... The fine print states that the investment reflects film production costs and print and advertising associated with theatrical releases of titles. And in the case of animated titles, it also includes production overhead. In short term, the I and RI covers the movie's production expenses and marketing costs. And repeat that last part again for me. Let's 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 uh, let's let's share this. Yeah, because I got the last part of this. Initial article, and that's yeah, where yeah, the nitty gritty stuff comes out. <laughs> the fine print states that the RI calculation is based on titles released following Disney's acquisition of the IP. This doesn't solve frozen conundrum as was not established. Uh, oh, okay, da -da. in short, the I and ROI covers the movie's production expenses and marketing costs. 
There's no indication that the ROI calculation factors in Disney acquisitions cost to the companies which own the franchise. And this isn't actually as significant an omission as it may seem. So Lunga, is this saying that in the ROI and marketing is included? Calculation, okay, so so that five hundred million dollars would be including marketing. This is why I said that that the article, the, uh, the other article, is a little misleading. It doesn't give you all the context. It doesn't, even though you know they try to say oh it includes it. They you notice it's, they never said explicitly in that article that it doesn't include marketing. Yes, they did. But they didn't uh, no, let they did. you they, know. No, they, no, they, they did. did. They did. They did. did they? No, no, I, 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 I remember times. reading that part. Yeah. yeah. They. they well, how does this in here? I mean, this other article literally talks about ROI calculations, and this well, is, is this saying the same, that the ROI calculation is this within the same? Yeah, are they using is, this? Is, is this the same author? Because if it is, oh, it's no, it's a different it, author. I, it's okay, linked well, to it. That, that's that's probably why, though. Um, it's part of this part here where it says, as revealed, the methodology yeah. is questionable as Disney based ROI revenue on the movies, merchandise, DVDs, and Blu-ray rather than profits they made off the doing. But she doesn't mention in this part that it also includes marketing. And see, but that would that would make all of this make a lot more sense. And it, it, I feel like we're getting to the bottom of this shit, at least when it comes to the numbers. If the budget for everything with The Force Awakens is $500 million, marketing and production included, I believe that number. I absolutely believe yeah, that number. Well, in that case, let's say that let's just say for for whatever sake that it is the case, which it very well could be. That still doesn't change the one that still wouldn't change the one point two billion dollar number for the for the most part because we we really don't know how the exact number of how much for all five cut, movies yeah, I, I, I mean we yeah. uh, no that's I, I, that, like that, so the end of the day I feel like that number goes up a little bit honestly if if now that we're factoring the marketing budget the return of well no 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 because but, but, but Star Wars only change. that final number does not change because the five hundred fifty million with or without marketing that five fifty million was used in the conclusion of how much they've made off their films right so whether or not that had marketing it really doesn't change the final number. Oh, yeah, okay, you know, yeah, I, I, I do concede that. But I also, the only thing I'll push back and still back on that final number thing is the percentage totals that she's giving for these theaters and everything and, and the cut that they're taking. And she's going based off of what most studios have done, where it's like a 60-40 split and everything. We truly don't know exactly how much of the yeah. cut that Disney took from these movies. And we know it's significantly more. And and even beyond that, we've known for years when the movie systems and well, how, how movies work and where they make their money, it's not the movies that they're showing. It's the concessions. That's where they make all their money from. That's why fucking That's the popcorn. theaters, yeah. Yeah. So I, I still find it hard to believe if out of $2.1 billion in the box office, the movies made a billion dollars out of that cut. Like, that, that's a lot of fucking money. I know it's significantly less than that and everything. And I know they made hundreds of millions from this because it's The Force Awakens, and it's a huge fucking deal. But the meaty-gritty of this last part of the article, it, it goes on to say, and this talks about the theater chains and their cut, it says theater chains typically get around half of the takings with the remainder going to the studios. Deducting the 471, uh, 75.1 million net cost of The Force Awakens from Disney's share of the box office leaves a blockbuster profit of 55, moment, 559.6 million. Uh, we'll basically just say 550. I mean, it tended to be 560, but who gives a fuck? Um, we're talking about margins of area of millions of dollars, these rich fucking bastards. This is 1.2 times its net cost, giving Disney a 1.2 times return on its investment. Its 2017 sequel, The Last Jedi, had a multitude of 1.2 times. What the fuck? Um, as did the 20- times, I thought. Yeah, sorry, one point. It's but it says multiple. I was about to say, I was like, uh, I read 1. this. One point one But but when it says multiple of one point one times, I thought that was funny. As did the 2016 spinoff movie Rogue One. However, as the graph shows below, its net profit in dollar terms was half as much as the amount made by The Force Awakens. Disney spent a total of two hundred and ninety-eight million dollars, basically three hundred million, making Rogue One, which was a tremendous gamble as it largely featured little-known actors. Although it paid off with a healthy profit, it could have made even more as the filings for the movie state. The final cost was higher than the agreed budget. We've kind of known that about that um, movie. And same thing about Solo, where we, we know that yeah. lost I wanna, money. I wanna, can I jump in here real quick? I think the biggest mm-hmm. factor right now that we're going to deal with, whether or not there's marketing or not, the, the final number really is going to be more determining on if we can ever get the actual uh, theater cut numbers. Because we know that it usually starts a lot higher. Uh, or a lot lower, sorry. Like the theaters usually get a lot lower at like opening week in the first few weeks. And then as the movie goes on uh, through its run, the theaters slowly get more and more. And that's kind of the biggest problem, I would say. The biggest flaw in this article is we do not have that objective number. They're they're guessing based on an average. And 50% is very high 
uh i would i would consider a better number to be 40 percent. but what do i know uh and so i think that's because that, that's going to be the biggest factor in, in determining the the i guess quality of this this article i'd say this is the biggest flaw it has right now well and at the end it, it summarized everything it says bottom line it brings the total net profits from disney's five star wars movies to 1.2 billion which is 2.8 billion short of the purchase price of Lucasfilm. Bearing this in mind, it's a little surprise that Disney's presentation didn't work out the return of its acquisition by Lucasfilm by using the profits of the movies as it still has, uh, oh, as it has still got a long way to go to break even. Uh, of course, the calculations above doesn't include the huge profits Disney makes on the Star Wars merchandise, DVDs, and Blu-rays. However, it also doesn't include the massive marketing cost, you goddamn liar, Stephanie, whatever the hell. Um, of the movies as well as the cost of Star Wars streaming shows and theme park attractions, which also don't have revenue streams directly connected to them as visitors get, you know, access to all the rides for the prizes so of one. Um, and it talks I mean, about unless, Jones lost unless there's, just, there's some kind of loss in translation about what she's talking about. This and ROI are two different things. I don't know, but she focuses on ROI in this article a lot. Yes. And uses this other article as a reference to this article. And that article literally says ROI includes the cost of marketing. Well, and then she so. uses the cost of marketing in her budget of <clears> these <throat> movies, but then says that these budgets are not representative of the marketing. It's not included. So, so that's the, you know, one of the things with her that I'd be like, all right, you know, you got that wrong. But, you know, this. I mean, if they really only made one point two billion dollars from all five of these movies, what the fuck? Like it makes me wonder well, what's the true numbers of so how let's much. Let's give some Lucas grace made? here. Let's say it's more like one point five billion because the theaters actually got a little bit less than we thought. Let's say one point five billion. They bought it for four billion. They're still two point five short, you know. And Galaxy's Edge cost a plethora. I think it was. I think it was. If I recall correctly, I know it was, it was at least a billion. Least. I think it was a billion each location, or was it, it was, total? Yeah. No. It was okay. A so you got two billion in that. You've got the costs of running Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm does cost an okay amount to no, know. I know some people that work at Lucasfilm, they get paid very well. Uh, and so the cost of running Lucasfilm, plus the costs of the shows. I mean, we it's hard. Again, this article goes over. It's hard to really determine how much money Disney Plus has made for Star, from Star Wars alone. I put that in quotes because Disney Plus hasn't made money. They're still negative, and they will be negative for probably a couple more years. Uh, but we can probably agree that Star Wars has given them the biggest, one of the biggest jumps for Disney Plus. So it's very complicated to actually come to a conclusion from that on will Disney Plus help a lot or has it, is it still making them lose more money? It's it's hard to put that in the factor. What gets me is in this presentation that she's talking about, their total valuation for Star Wars is $12 billion. That That's how much they're saying this it's franchise their projected, is now worth. It's and their everything. projected yeah. revenue, yeah. So where... Where's that eleven billion dollar discrepancy? The Ray movie, of course. Oh, okay. Her. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that. Oh no, wait, no, 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 no. The Mando movie. That, that, no, okay, yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah, the movies we'll that there. they've reportedly <laughs> said they're gonna spend less on. I mean, there, there's reports that this Mandalorian movie is gonna it's be like what? the fucking the... seasons. Um, yeah, you know that that's insane to me. If that's the case, and this movie does make a billion dollars, I mean, they, they definitely made a lot of fucking. ROI. Praise, praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Update this article, Stephanie. I no, I just but I like I like this breakdown because I I do like knowing that all right, maybe they spent exactly what we all expected is whatever they spent in production, they spent exactly that much in marketing. All right, fine. I like that. I still yeah, don't and then again, where... when I'm reading this other article too, this 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 is a Disney. This is not Lucasfilm. This is what Disney's doing across the board with with all of these things, Marvel, yeah. their, 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 their originals, animated. This is with everything. This is just how Disney presents stuff. And I, when I read this article, they're saying that they're not lying. The, 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 the uh, investors and, and stockholders know what their definition of ROI is and they understand it. You know what I mean? It just confuses. It's just meant to, when they put out numbers just like this, it could confuse the regular schmoes who suddenly give a fuck about this and want to understand the money side of it which is i still think even if we're reading these articles we need to take, get a fucking four-year degree in financing to fucking understand this at the end at its core i'm sorry because this is ridiculous 
Uh, it would be financing long. I got you. <laughs> some time. I okay. Still don't trust you, Star Wars only. <laughs> I would trust but, you with anything. Yeah, this this just seems more of a. It's not fudging the numbers. It's it's how they define ROI, and they have a oh, and, peculiar and way it, of defining it. I would say, and like it's a more educated guess. I mean, for a journalist trying to break down the stuff and everything, like they're trying to. They're trying to do what we nerds do. Like you said, we get obsessed. Well, with I, I, I like would think if you're work. working for Forbes, you have some kind of degree or schooling in finances, in, fi- well, in the she, financial markets. She, I, I read okay? about her, uh, her career. She's like literally her journalism career for over 15 years, I believe it was, is specified in the financing part, of, uh, investing part of, uh, of studios and stuff. Well, like and we're all being... assholes because her name has not been Stephanie this entire time. Yeah, and I okay, Caroline. That's, uh, Caroline Reed. That's my fault. I just basic why I thought it was Stephanie. I, I thought I thought it was Stephanie too, but yeah, no. Well, it's because I said that. I've been saying that this whole time. Okay, I feel bad. and, and that's it. Caroline. Her she specializes in the reporting on the movie and theme park industries. It doesn't mean she she's an expert in ROI. Oh, hey, hey, it goes on to say I've written for more than twenty titles, including the Times, the Daily Telegraph, the Guardian, the Independent, and the Financial Times and the Wall Street Journal. She's a fucking financial analysis, if I've ever heard of one. Um, she was probably there for the 08 crisis. I remember. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. Number. Yeah, no, you don't. We were all we were kids. We, I still remember it. Not I was I was in Texas. I don't think it. Affected, I remember. I remember, I remember Obama president. getting elected president. I remember that. That was a big thing in my school. I 100 percent remember that too. I remember. Um, that. I remember Obama. But, <laughs> I, I guarantee Obama. you, she has a journalism degree, not a financial degree. I'm telling yeah, you. No, yeah. yeah. But so it, it is an interesting article well, to break down and see sorry. the return. But but yet again, a 1.2 billion dollars in the box office. When all four of them, not including Solo, made over a billion. Like, I'm just, I'm so shocked by those numbers, if it's even remotely in the same ballpark. Because let's say for the sake of argument, they only made $2 billion in total profit and everything. Yo, that's that's half of what it costs to make, to buy Lucasfilm. That's not a bad return of investment. Um, I know $2 billion to build Galaxy's Edge and all that stuff is a lot. Um, but but Galaxy's Edge is doing, I mean, you everything. know more about than I do, but Galaxy's Edge is doing pretty well, right? Um, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. it'll be around okay. for a long time. Okay. It'll be okay. it'll be around for a very long time. I well, will Star, hey, I, Star Wars is still around, but you know, yeah, but but when when especially knowing Disney like I do now after living in Orlando for like five years, god damn, five years. Um, they with with some of these things like it, it takes a long time for them to get rid of something, and especially a land like this, they won't be getting rid of this. Because if they get rid of it, they have to replace it with something else, gonna, which is going to cost billions more. Yeah, yeah, and you got to well, get hey, people. Hey, I got, I got one for you. Fucking Star Cruiser. How much did that shit cost to making it bombed? Uh a lot. I don't, of money. I don't Probably know. Not as much as Galaxy's Edge. It, I don't know if they made their money back on that for sure. But I mean, they, they got. There's no way. Of There's reason. no way. <laughs> they only had it up and running for what, like a year? Yeah, but I mean, those tours were booked for a while. Oh gosh, yeah, they weren't cheap. Oh, I mean, hundred a night cheap. of them, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they, they they were not cheap. Um, it was definitely a yeah. long term investment thing. Yes, and it did not That's pay off. Why they cut it short? They're like, it just fucking everything. cut it. Uh, same, yeah. She also yeah, I, she also reported uh, twenty one hours ago that Universal reveals over budget Fast X costs nearly half a billion dollars. So apparently, every movie, everything she reports on now is over. <laughs> the, it's a half a billion dollars to make these movies. Oh, Perhaps the movie industry is a lot more bloated and inflated than we thought. I wouldn't. I wouldn't and then disagree. her other I mean, expose: on, the real reason for Disney's eleven billion dollars streaming loss. You're going to marry this woman, Pablo Memes, because this she, she's just writing everything you, that tickles oh, that already. tickles your yeah, fancy. You get, you get her name right, sir. It's not Stephanie. Oh, oh no, no, she's getting she's getting her name right. Though the VIP Pablo Memes experience gets you your name said correctly. Don't worry, Steph. Caroline, fuck. Oh, there you I go, did it again. Caroline. Yeah, yeah. You know they Apologize. made a song about her too. There's a good song called Caroline, and I'm not talking about Sweet Caroline, not not, not the British. Which song. is a very, which is a very problematic song when you really think about it. Da, 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 Caroline in the song is like a teenager. You know that, right? She's like 17 I mean, was, or something. This was made in freaking um chair chair what a chair chair. Yeah, and Neil Diamond. She, when he was Gypsy's writing the song, was like in his fucking thirties. Jared <laughs> literally says she's like, "I was sixteen, he was twenty-one." Probably would have shot him if he know what he'd done. Oh, you guys were my wilding Lord. in the eighties. I'm, I'm not that. We were wild in the eighties. I was around. I remember. I remember the eighties. Okay. Um, Mister, yeah. I am one years older than Palpatine. Yeah. <laughs>
remember Eric? Oh, I remember. Remember Chewbacca. I fucking love to remember. So, uh, any let's come to a conclusion we, here. We, we, yeah, let's say we got we got to get off this 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 article because it, it is eye opening. But but now now I have so much doubt in it that I feel kind of tainted. Like I want to write this Caroline lady like, and be like, explain like said, to me. Yeah. Oh, well, let's you know, get her it's on not that. It's not Fuck lies. Yes. Okay, she's a writer for Forbes. She's not lying about anything. But we we got to remember journalists when they're writing a piece. There is a slant to it. There always is. Okay? And, and the slant is is they look through all these numbers and then they come to a conclusion of reading it. And this is her conclusion of it. You know what I mean? And either A, maybe something got lost in the interpretation of what ROI is, or B, she spun it, like I've said, that people do with statistics to suit what the article was, to get the readers for it. Because that's... Journalists are the same thing, man. It's about the clicks. It's about getting people to read the article. You know what I mean? Um, so it's journalist, dude. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I, I totally understand that. But because I'm not going to just take that face value and say, oh, these numbers are wrong or deliberately misinterpreting. They're misinterpreted and stuff. I mean, uh, you know, like I said, the biggest factor right now I think we're dealing with is. I mean, the merchant, the, the marketing doesn't really matter at the end of the day because her concluded number had nothing to do with market. It didn't change whether or not there was marketing there or not. Anyways, uh, but the biggest factor I think would be how much the theaters take from the budget from the the, the box office. Yeah, I, I do agree that is a very big factor. Um, but for so me was only still... you. Um, I don't mean to cut you off, but you admitted you acknowledged that if these numbers were with marketing, that it would oh that would make sense. So at the end of the day, yeah, it's no, kind of no, like, well, no, 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 makes, the same. no, 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 makes sense in terms of, okay, I understand where this budget is now coming from because this For a movie like Force from, Awakens, you would guess 200 to 250 oh, million in marketing. Oh, easily. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, we, we, every Star Wars movie, we've assumed whatever they spent in budget is exactly how they spent, is actually, is exactly how much they spent in marketing, except for something like Solo. It's or usually half. It's usually half. It's so 200, we usually get 100 million. But, yeah. Yeah. But, but, but it's different for these movies, I feel. And, and, but, but, could be. Yeah. With, absolutely. With those yeah. final numbers, it, now we know is, especially after that other Forbes article that talks about the ROI and how Disney calculates everything that does include marketing. 500 million does include the marketing. All right, fine. That completely makes sense. I still don't see how basically out of that one, because you know, 2.1 billion in box office, you minus 500 for the entire budget of everything. That's $1.5 billion in revenue box office. And then now theaters get a billion of that. And now we only make 500 million. That is what I cannot believe, comprehend, fathom at all. So, so like I said, there, the there, could, below. there could be a situation where, you know, the movie industry is way more inflated than we've been publicly led to believe. I mean, I mean, it's well, Hollywood. Then I'm again, gonna... I got to get into the doldrums of this. But that other article, the financial wizardry, they, they talk about this whole thing with the theaters. So it says, take, for an example, a movie which grosses one billion. The studio typically gets 50% of the box office, giving it a revenue of 500 million. Let's say the amount of studio actually invested in the picture after reimbursements or incentives uh, comes to 300 million. That gives it a $200 million profit. Calculating ROI by using a ratio of 500 million revenue and a 300 million investment gives a 0.7 multiply, uh, gives a 0.7 X multiple. In contracts, the actual ROI method involves dividing 200 million profit by the 300 million investment, which yields a loss for the studio. Take another example of a movie generates $850 million in ticket sales, giving the studio revenue of $425 uh, or an investment of $110 million that makes $315 million profit. Disney's definition of ratio between revenue and investment yields a 2.9 times ROI as a movie generated $315 million in revenue. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's just all playing with numbers, dude. Well, and that's the same you know, that, that movie you're referring there is getting a 2.9 times ROI, but The Force Awakens and other Star Wars movies are getting a 1.1 to 1.2. Yeah. Like, wow, that is like that's that's where I go. Like, but okay, it's well, because it's George but because so it's the money? way it's the way they calculate for presentation ROI. Mm -hmm. it, it's not the like I said, it's not the it's not the raw numbers. It's it's this calculation that they do to say. Oh, well, this is what it, you know. We we actually made. <laughs> you know what I mean? And and, and yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's well, and, it's and, smoke and, and, and mirrors. One thing I'll, I'll, I'll say almost in Disney's defense, you know, a lot of these budget numbers are inflated to get. And they, if know, they show a loss, rate. they get more. They get tax breaks. The more loss yeah. they have, the more they can sh sh 
show as a perceived loss, the more tax breaks they get. But, but one thing so, I will concede is that I 100% don't believe that just from the box office alone that Disney Star Wars had from all five movies that they made back the $4.2 billion. It behooves the them on financial documents to show as much of a loss as they can because of the taxes. Yes. So, of course, they're going to show that in, in those documents. This is this is another example of the whole Donald Trump thing going on. What everyone's saying, all all uh, inve- all property investments do this. They all inflate the, the prices to get better loans and, and interest rates, and it's it's what they do because that's how you make money. Blah blah blah. And at the end of the day, Disney's still making money off of this movie. Okay, it, it's just, <laughs> they just have to show that they're not making as much as you think we did. <laughs> yes, and and that they clearly spent. As much, if not more, than what we thought they spent. I mean, they're, they're saying they right. spent two two point three something billion dollars on making these movies. That does make a lot of sense, honestly. And a, and really a lot does. of the investors, when they hear this, they sit through this thing, and are most of them, are, unless they're super interested in this shit, are kind of sleeping. They're like, okay, what's my stock price at? It's going up. Yeah. Okay, cool, I'm happy. <laughs> you know, that's do I buy more? Or do I sell? <laughs> Just tell me, yeah. Anchor. Um, yeah. You no. Know, but what's but, my dividends? I, what's my dividends this quarter? Okay. Cool. And, and <laughs> Disney does have dividends too. Funny. Funny. Yeah. Enough, I bet. Oh my god. I bet Lucas is making fuck you money from those goddamn dividends. Two point two billion dollars in dividends. Well, what that's why money? that one article we saw that he's still the richest. <laughs> five point um, five billion dollars is how much that man is worth. Yeah. That is beyond fuck you money. I mean, oh my god. Um. Anywho. I guess the final thought on this or final question, and I think the answer is kind of obvious in my personal opinion, at least as up to this day, do you think Disney has made all their money back from buying Star Wars in 2012? It's been 12 years. I will say, and it didn't come up during this whole conversation because we got really, really rolled into the numbers, right? But it's kind of what I was saying to you um, before we went live. They've had Disney now for how long? 11 years? 10 years? 12. 12? 12. 12? Yep. And they've made how many movies? Five. Five? Uh-huh. And they spent how much for Star Wars? $4.2 billion. Okay. The fact that they made as much as they did with only five movies is not that bad when you... We're not talking about as a Star Wars fan. Okay? Just looking at it. It's only five fucking movies, dude. How many and Marvel add, movies add did they that, make in the same period? I, 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 I'm 33? glad you Marvel because Marvel in this report and when, this all this entire report goes back to what Palpatine was brought up at the beginning about the proxy war, the presentation that Disney put on for the investors. According to their valuation, Marvel is worth thirteen billion dollars. How many movies did Lunga say they just made? Like thirty-two. Thirty-three in, fa- in 33, the tenure yeah, of fate okay, for the okay. Infinity so, War saga. So they're putting 33 movie valuation at, and and this includes what Marvel does in toy sales, all this stuff. The valuation for Marvel as a whole as a company, $13 billion after all that movie. Which their merch was doing way more than Star Wars. Especially during the Avengers time. Yeah, especially during the Avengers time. I mean, insane. So the fact that that company is $13 billion and Lucasfilm's at 12 for only having five movies? Yo. I, I'm just I'm leaning more back towards my side of you know Star Wars only in Marvel. Oh my bad, Star Wars and Marvel. I don't know why I put my name in there. Sorry, but Star Wars versus Marvel, it's you know, like a it, it'd be a different story. It'd be a different story if we said they had made twenty movies, and this is where they're at. Okay, then it'd be like Jesus, you know, huh. five movies, guys, five, and one of them was a complete bomb. Yeah, they lost. Well, and and honestly, with Lucasfilm too, they've had two, two to three bombs when it came to. And like, not only was it a complete bomb, but they spent a shit ton on Solo. It was one of the most expensive movies ever made, up until recent history, of course. But so, so Lunga, yes or no? Has has Disney made their money back on Lucasfilm yet? I, I think I think considering the, when you when you look at the context of how many movies have they made, I think they're doing okay financially with, when it comes to Lucasfilm. Uh, not Disney you? as a whole. Yeah. yeah. Uh, n- no, I don't think they've made the four billion dollars back. I mean, a lot of people 
bring up merchandise and stuff, but we, we do have some things from Hasbro and stuff where they <laughs> like flat out said Star Wars merchandise is not done well and hasn't done well pretty well, much. And, since and then after you have the factor in if we're saying this only. How much money did they make movies? on Sabres at Disney? A lot of but money had, on Sabres but, at yeah, Disney. Yeah, but that's the question though is like, is this, because you talk about the money spent, you do $4 billion to buy the company, you do $2 billion to buy to build the parks. Um, according to this, you do another $2 billion to make the movies. It's like eight billion dollars right there, and just spending on yeah, all this, we, you know that that is a lot of money to put it. I I don't I do not believe that the let me toys merchandise and all that yeah, stuff. Makes again, all now now we're billion. getting back into ROI. Now we're getting back into ROI. How yeah, much then, spent and versus and we, how much made? Even, we, and we don't even but really know. The I was just commenting out. on. He's like, well, they they you know merch it wasn't that. But no, they they made a they made decent money on merch. Now, how much they spent to get there is another story. But they did make. Yeah. we were talking yeah. about. Make their money back from purchasing the four billion dollars to purchase. Yeah, my, yeah. My, Star Wars. my answer comes from: Have they made an actual profit more than what they've spent on Star Wars? And I don't, I don't think they're there yet. I don't think they're all like, "Oh, Lucasfilm is losing them billions of billions of dollars, and they're going to sell Lucasfilm." Yeah, uh, I, 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 I'm kind of on Lunga on the sense of like, I don't think. Yeah, I think they're okay, <clears throat> doing okay financially. Uh, I think the main problems with Lucasfilm it revolves around their audience and if they will be returning to the theaters and I, and what numbers they will be returning to the theaters. But I, I don't think they've made back that number. No. And I thought I you and, and, and only time. you have said that that the park, not counting the, the the bloat of the hotel, which was a complete fucking utter failure, and how much money they spent on that and and all Star Cruiser Hotel, but the park you said was doing when you were there was doing decently well, wasn't it? Oh, but when I was when I was there, and I, I mean, I was there almost every other day, um, living in Orlando and having like annual passes to Disney. You know, I was in Galaxy's Edge all the time. I love, I, I, God, it's. I would love to do, and we will do a chat to me an episode on that. But I need somebody who's actually been to the parks, you know, to um, talk that with, and instead of you fuckers who never visit. Um, well, if I ever go to the park, in, you're going to be pushing me around in a wheelchair or going to give me a scooter because I, I cannot walk. Brother, I, I cannot walk that park. Period. Brother, we'll be happen. in the ECVs together. I, I'm. I'll be like, <laughs> hey, I'm, I got. I got social anxiety and standing up kills. I have a legitimate. I, I do have a handicap placard. Yeah, no, yours is uh, weird. So. <laughs> Um, they, they wouldn't accept me with their new DAS uh, things. But anyways, um, no, Galaxy's Edge, especially 2019, late 2019 when it opened, and um, throughout 2020 before COVID happened, was booming, boy. Let me tell you something. Rise of Resistance, yeah. constant lines. So the Hollywood Studios definitely, and Disney itself has definitely made a lot of money. And it's hard to quantify things like a billion dollars. Like, oh, how? I mean, I don't even know how much these parks make a and, day. You know, I do know they and, get 40,000 to 50,000 people a day. You know, But that's another question, you know? That's another question, because that money there, I'm pretty sure, if we're going to break it down to simple categories, that's listed under parks income. That's not Lucasfilm income. Yes. That's yes. parks. So it's what Lucasfilm has contributed to Disney as a whole under their parks category. So that doesn't really count towards Lucasfilm's profit or anything like that because it, it's right. too hard to quantify it's too hard to be like oh this family right. spent 200 dollars to get a ticket today how much of that is for galaxy's edge how much do we allocate exactly to galaxy's edge? none of that stuff really matters and the parks there's never uh, other than covid now i think then, like merch i think lucasfilm split. they probably split up the south lucasfilm yeah, gets so x amount for the Something stuff like that they yeah. would because you can actually quantify that a lot easier than you could park ticket sales based off of a certain location that people want to go yeah. to and everything. Um, but anywho, yes, Galaxy's Edge was very popular. I think it will fade away a little bit because I, they only have two rides, honest to God. And there's not that much to do other than walk around, look at this, because it's it's a glorified shopping mall. It truly is. Um, so I don't know if those have, of course, made the money back um, that they cost um, in terms of Lucasfilm. But overall, a billion dollars to spend on that. I'm sure they've made that since 2019. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's a Disney world and disneyland theme parks um if when it comes to as disney made their money back from lucasfilm that four billion dollar purchase if they haven't already after 12 years i would say they're gonna hit it when these new movies are released i truly believe that even with the cost of running everything and all that because of how complex disney's numbers are and and how hard it would be for any one person to truly know every single minute detail that nerds and weirdos like us would like to kind of dig into um, they have branches of people who do stuff like that. I do think that if these next Star Wars movies, it's so funny because they have five planned right now, and we've had five. I, I firmly believe these next five billion, each sing, each one of them does a billion. 
I think they'd be good. I think they would have made their money back. Star Wars would be profitable going forward and everything like that. Um, but Disney and companies like Disney are often ran in a deficit because they make the money back long term and, and everything. Um, so, yeah, I don't believe they've made a full four billion dollars flat from Star Wars. Um, I, they have made four billion dollars from Star Wars, of course, over the past 12 years. But that doesn't include the cost of how much it's been to run. The yeah, but oh, but I, and, and I and I believe this. And, and, and companies will see it this way. Owning an IP as powerful as Star Wars, if you break even, it's worth having. Yeah. Especially a big company like this. Because once you get the money spent on it off the books, then it becomes, so like you said, it's long term. They look at it. An IP like Star Wars is supposed to last 100 years, 200 years, right? Mickey Mouse, Superman, shit like that, right? They're looking at it 20 years from now. That's all profit. You know, it, it, it Oh, yeah, that's that what they're looking billion for. Billion dollar cost is going to go away within the next three years. They're going to be like four billion. That's nothing, especially if Disney ever got bought out by like a Apple, like that that rumor that been swirling around last year and everything. Um, yeah, I mean, they'd... God, imagine Apple owning Star Wars. Um, but anywho, we all basically said no. It probably will break even eventually. But let's let's move on to <sighs> Palpatine's favorite subject. Daisy Ridley in Star Wars. In Empire Magazine, um, she talked about her upcoming Ray Star Wars movie and basically says, I know the story beats, but other than that, I'm not sure what's, what it's going to be, but I'm reading a script next month. I'm curious about it all. And um, next month is May. So she's basically saying that there is a script done. No. Is, is that what you believe, Palp Memes? You're... You're more up to date with the race when I'm more. Well, date. yeah, and and just for uh, you know, some minute details here. This article, the interview, I'm sorry, was actually a month ago. So she should, according to the timeline, we've been doing a lot of math today. But if the math checks out, she would be having the script in her hands right now in this very moment. Are you saying Daisy Ridley is reading episode ten right now? Is yeah, I've been to her house. Yeah, I've read it. It's shit. <laughs> <laughs> you saying her house is shit or the script? The script. Okay, because no, the way Stephen you put Knight's that, it sounded say, like it. Stephen Knight's a great writer. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a, it's the yeah. one thing that gives me some just ounce of hope that, okay, maybe this can really set something great up is Stephen Knight. Well, I, I think the fact that she would have a script right now around this time and everything is interesting because that leads us to believe yet again that that movie would be coming out um december of 2026 right it's 2020 it's may 2026 for mando and grogu and december 26 for uh, right right we've been Ray. pretty much guessing that for i mean we thought the ray movie would be first and then the fucking mando movie came out of the, the orbit of whatever you know the strategy basically stole the spotlight it, it, it literally stole the spotlight it and attempted the date to, yeah yeah what do you mean because with, the exception, because with the exception because with the exception of talk around it with the exception of you Everybody else is more excited about that than Ray movie. Sorry. It's just a reality. Well, no, 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 oh, hang on. Talk, Goldman's well, not here to throw his, his one in. Yeah. You know, he, well, in terms of talk, you know what? The Ray, movie, the Ray movie has a lot more attention. Not good attention, but a lot more attention around it. I don't know if it has more attention. See, that's another thing. No one's no, 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 talking I, about the Mando no, movie. No, no, no. We have all talked about the Mando movie. We've oh, done yeah, us. We had Brendan Wayne on the show. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And what the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> He's the man. The no, internet no. chatter alone was very positive about Mandu and Grogu. It was. It well, was. You know and I I've seen a lot of mixed reactions Anne, I, to it. I, I, but maybe it's where I'm looking. No, no, no. I will concede this because now that I... I yeah, I, you're on the doom and gloom side of, tic, of Twitter. That's no, <laughs> not really. Everything no, on I'm really not. If alone. you go to my followers list, please, there are a bunch of shills, and I'm friends with them. God bless them all. But even the shills yeah, I've seen. Yeah, and, they're, they're and, like, they're, and they were all pissed that the Ray movie was pushed back. Oh, so, oh, like, fuck on, Mando. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> so it's not because no they just don't really care about the Mando movie. It's that, oh, you're taking my girl away. No, yes, but, 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 exactly. I will, I will, I'm going to sure. switch sides here. I actually think I might be on Palpatine's side with this Ray being a little bit more popular, only because... They did a big announcement at Celebration. They had Daisy Ridley come out and everything. They made a big to do with that, and I do remember that being a big deal on the internet. And I think more people know at the moment that there is a Ray Star Wars movie being made. Than well, yeah. Well, we all we all, we all know 
that 75 to 80 80 percent of people at celebration are shills i mean come on let's let's yeah but all, all i'm saying guys is the I Ring movie has more attention one. to it and that the mando movie has virtually no attention to it no one's talking about it no one gives a shit because there's nothing that, no hold on hold on hold on hold on because there's nothing we can give a shit about right now none right where's the ray movie none? at the very least right now we're given nothing none? yeah yeah well, Absolutely. right now, yeah, they we made the announcement. Go said, on. Right now, we, no, the Ray no, movie has They're more talking about to Ray it. because they just did a fucking expose with her. So that's why it's all up on the fucking internet. Because they just talked to her about the script. So people are talking about it. If they come up with a whole no, thing no, about the script. Here, movies. let me give you an example. No one cares about this movie. We, this tiny little show, talked to Brendan Wayne suddenly because of one thing he says, it's all over the fucking internet. Right? Well, it's but no art, one cares. Articles, yes, but all over the internet. Some no, articles. John, John Campia mentioned we, we, us. We, Get we, the we, fuck we, out of here. Kind of it's in articles, but it didn't go. It didn't go viral on the internet. Within the hardcore, fan is, group, within, the, Star Wars within the hardcore fan base, it, yes, it did. It did great wonders for us, and I'm very proud and happy of it. But it did not go viral on the internet. No. Okay, but 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 I I still feel like at least everything about the Mando and Grogu throughout the diehard of the fandom, I feel like that's being talked about a little bit more than the Ray one. I think casually, the Ray one's a lot more popular. And, 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 are are you are you saying I, Ray I, is viral right now on the internet? Is that what you're saying? You're saying I'm Ray saying is viral? viral right now? I don't think Star Wars is a big talking talking point in terms of your casual audience. But okay, compared okay. to Ray has more talk because of the controversies. Yes, okay. I say that. And so, I'll that. so we are talking about just the hardcore people. We're not talking about general audiences. We're not talking about viral right, internet. The, just just I'm just, comparing just the, to the hardcore. What has okay. more talk about it. Okay. I'm just saying in general, yeah, but, but saying about, Ray has more is. because a lot of it's negative isn't great. Like you could say the acolyte had more talk because there's so many yeah, people who are talking negative. It does. I, I, and I've said okay. from the beginning, it's about it, I'm talking about attention, right? The Ray movie has more attention, right? More care okay, for it, where right. there's care of wanting this to fail or care of wanting this to succeed. The Manda movie is nowhere near it. Right, now, but more people, more people are, are are more people are are apt to go on the internet to bitch than to praise. So when there's something to bitch about, you see it more. That, that I'm simply that's saying the, the Ray movie it. has more attention to it. Whether you say, "Oh, that's because reasons X, Y, and Z," I'm simply saying the Ray movie has more. No, attention. No, you said simply said Ray has more attention, and most of it's negative. You did say that. I said a lot of it's because of the negative controversy. Okay. Yes. And I, I said people have to statement. go yeah, to the because, internet more because there to was bitch. that bad PR thing, and like December and January, Rishamina Bech Noy had her like quotes and everything, some taken out of context and whatnot, and. People just were dogging on her, and it, conveniently around that same time. Oh gosh, yeah. I Let's feel not like to what take took over I, I a week, like not even honestly, a week later. But but that's As but that's days. where I will. But but well, that's where I am kind of siding with Palp memes about the Ray movie having kind of a little bit more attention on it because, yeah, bro, like at work. People will hate right? watch too. Let's not let's yeah, not yeah, lie to so ourselves. Yeah, so people, but it's like a kink for people, people, man. Like, people like to complain. And I had a friend at um, work. He was a server. Came up to me. He's like, "Yo, bro, did you hear about?" Um, the like feminist woke director for the episode 10 everything and i was like damn oh even you yeah, know no. there's a ray star wars movie coming out like that that, that people kind of at my yeah just random people that i've never talked to star wars about at my gym have literally come up to me because they know i'm kind of a fan of their stuff they're like hey, what's going on with why are they hiring the, the the person who's i can't even remember what they said but god knows yeah i mean it, it very yeah, clearly I, had more I, attention yeah it was white yeah, I, dude I fox say. news had a fucking article let's talk about articles fox fucking news talked about it okay but they didn't talk about us so it doesn't matter all right oh i agree i agree all right and i'm not saying fox news is good but like when we talk about oh the mando thing had articles and stuff that's great but the Ray movie had well, daily well, hey, wire I, but, talking but, about but it but i will stuff. say i will say when it comes to making money for disney if they have the Mando and Ray movie come out in the same year, I'm not one of these people who think that's a bad idea. I honestly think like those back to back, those could make some really good money um, for Disney. And you know how good, how much they like making a lot of money within just one year so they can report it on like that. You know, oh, it looks so good on those papers. Yeah. yeah and, and I fully agree. It very well could. I, I, I doubt the, the probability of that, but I'm, I will never say it couldn't. Oh, hang on, but how can you doubt the probability when she's saying she's got a script right now? I know, I know you're going to no, say no, maybe no, no, they no, don't no, have sorry. to prove okay, everything. Let me, let me, let me clarify. Just, I meant the probability. I, I, let me clarify. I meant the probability of of them being extreme successes. Okay, That's okay. What I was clarifying. Because I was, yeah, was going to ask, do you think do you think this movie is still going to be coming out? Because now we know for um, sure May 2026 is think, Mando and Grogu. Do you think this is going to come out in December? The Ray movie. I I I think as of right now, given the circumstances, yes, uh, I do believe it is Lucasfilm. Uh, there is a decent chance that shit could get shuffled around once again. 
But right now, I'd say, yeah, it's probably going to come out in December. And, and, and see, like, that, that's that's where we have always disagreed about some of these movies happening or not and everything. I feel a different kind of confidence in Lucasfilm right now about the direction of things. Truth be told, I know it's not been... I remember but, you but, telling me this three, four years ago in 2020. I remember... Because they clearly. said they were going to have remember, a plan, all right? I remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember Star Wars only. We were like, okay, guys, this is going to be huge. You okay, know, Lucasfilm, you know, they're getting yeah, their act together. Me. They've Fucking learned from me, their mistakes. It's a new I age. I was wrong back then, but they didn't plan anything. They clearly didn't plan anything because they oh, just... yes, they just, fucking the did. Oh, okay, they had, like, every... four movies planned. What do you mean they had anything And none of them happened, so clearly... Really yeah, no well shit. That's my point. <laughs> that's my Fuck point. Off. Star Wars only. All right, all right. You're right. I was wrong years ago. That plan that they had and everything. It, but I Listen. was lied to because they didn't have a plan. All right, I, I was lied. And I stand. And I stand by this. If this man, not telling me they fucking movie right. comes out and makes a billion jillion, this is the ways in the box office that I'll get on my knees and just praise Jesus because that'd be great for us. That'd be great for this podcast. I would. I want nothing more to that. Right. If the Ray movie, when it inevitably makes four point eight billion dollars in the box office, you know, mm. I, I'll I'll expect my my I was wrongs from you guys. No, it's not gonna. Fit. No, because you I know think... what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna be like, oh, that four point eight billion because the movies <laughs> took so much. Yeah, they made their money would, back for they, Star Wars. They really <laughs> only made two hundred dollars from that because of the. Cost. I'm waiting for Caroline to come out and say, um, actually, they reshot the film fifteen times. They've been filming since 2017, and yeah, here's the deal. It's the most expensive endeavor, not just movie endeavor. Um, they spent. They really spent. They spent. They it. spent eight hundred million on costumes. <laughs> Don't you see the new Darth Vader? I mean, they did say <laughs> Baby Yoda costed um, a million dollars. One million for the thing. Yeah. Um, so I mean, that's that's not a cheap price. Um, but anywho, longer well, do you think that's an we're getting the Ray so. movie? Yeah, but but do you think we're getting that Ray movie in December twenty twenty six? Like, do you think things are actually going to go to plan with this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm on his side. Yeah. I believe this is going to happen. I what I, that's what I was going to say earlier. Pal memes about. I will say my faith in this is different than even the 2020 faith because the 2020 it was it, Rogue Squadron, Taika Waititi, uh, Lando, and everything. Again, my we, we could be is, it, we could be proven wrong if there's script rewrites, right? And suddenly, like Last Jedi shit. Okay, that. That can happen. Well, that, that's why I said, as of you now, know, yeah, I would agree that it's coming out. Yeah, but there's yeah. so many and, and, reasons. And I don't get me wrong. I'll come yeah. out here and eat crow if they don't do it in December 2026. But I'm I hope it's that December. I would be very upset if it's delayed again because holy shit. We well, need like I said, there's a big content. difference between, you know, the Tycho movie, the Patty Jenkins movie, and oh, it's it, it gets pushed back three months because of script rewrite. You know, yeah, that's a it, different really kind of deal. Only. I will say, you know, here talking about like, oh, it's different because it's just like a Rogue Squadron movie and this. this. I, I I would agree. It's kind of the same with these movies. You got a fucking Dawn of the Jedi movie, then a fucking Mandalorian movie, then you got a Ray movie. It's no, very I it's scattered. Different. I think it's different oh, in the okay. sense of okay, that's uh, okay. In the sense of the guarantee of success of a Ray and Mando and Grogu movie is far higher than the guarantee of success in a Patty Jenkins Rogue Squadron, a Taika Waititi, whatever the hell. And um, you can even throw in the Dawn of the Jedi. You can even throw Rogue in Squadron the is Redmore. a very niche specific story of what's going on. Rays is setting up a storyline in an era. Mando is an existing storyline in an era that's continuing in the movies. It's a different uh -huh. deal in Rogue Squadron. And, and, it and is. that's why I think these are more likely to happen. And I'll throw another one in here. That's why I think this is more likely to happen in 2026 because. I've said many times on the show, you want the next Star Wars movie to be the return of Star Wars to the theaters. Yes, we can't do it like the prequels uh, did back in 1999 of we're going back to Star Wars. Yes, it can't do it like the sequels where it's like, no, we're coming back again to finish up the story. <laughs> One more but try, guys. But, but the, you know, That's this what's is gonna be. Third, One more try. This is the this end is third, of the Skywalker saga. <laughs> yeah. But third time's a charm in the sense of they're coming back and saying, no, Star Wars is back. We've taken another almost 10, 10 year hiatus. It's not going to oh be gosh, 10. No, they but, haven't. Maybe from the theaters, but Star Wars is. Oh my gosh. But that's what I'm saying. I with love the you, Ray Star Wars. Mando, I love you. But with the Ray and Mando movie, oh, these are the highest and of And walking around with Grogu. That's going to be great. Yes, it's gonna be fucking great. You wanna know why? Because it's been great, you motherfucker. It's been Mando and Grogu. Hey, you remember you wrote season three that we were all like, holy fuck, this was shit. Listen, no one that. is gonna no we are Dude, no longer no, no, going no, to no, accept your complete yeah. misclassification and denial of the cultural impact of the Mandalorian. 
You are you are in such denial over this. No. It's sad. No, no, I'm no, not. It's not denial. It's <laughs> no, anger. I'm not. He's I'm angry not. about season three. That's all this is. You oh, I'm still triggered three. over that. I'm more triggered of Bob, but no, I'm not in denial. I've never said the Mandalorian wasn't a cultural impact. I don't think it's a billion dollar box office cultural impact. That's but all I'm I've saying, said. But, but what but I'm, I'm saying right. here, but what I'm saying here, and you're disagreeing about, is that Ray and Mando big deals in this time when they come back. It's a, it's a double it, it, one it year. Be, that is a it will huge be, return to Star Wars. It's that not going to be anywhere return. close to Force Awakens. It's not going to be anywhere close to the prequel trilogy. It's not. Now, are you talking Sorry. money or are you talking about hype? Are you talking about money well, or hype? Well, both are correlated, right? Hype will bring. Oh, in no, 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 no. They're not. They're not. They're not. The the no, 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 no. When Force Awakens was announced, that was a we haven't had Star Wars since the prequels. Star Wars is finally coming back. That is a we don't know what Disney's giving us. That was a completely different deal dude that was a a oh my god star wars we didn't even know if we're ever gonna get star wars again blah, blah, blah. that was a big fucking deal dude that was uh, uh, huge yes this is not What's the same point? that hype you can't it's it, it force awakens had extra hype of a unknowingness if there was ever going to be star wars again so the yeah, fact that it came back, that that was additional hype, just like the prequel, just like when, when Phantom Menace came out, that was a that is a, an unnatural hype on top of the regular Star Wars hype that you cannot just repeat. Who, okay, wait, the only way you could repeat sorry. that is if Disney gets rid of it, sells it, and then it goes, no one has it, and then 15 years from now, suddenly someone decides to make Star Wars movies again. Then you can then you can yeah, possibly recreate that hype. I don't think you're arguing with anyone here. I I said that Everything it's not going to be like it was But that's not, the, that's not the fault of what movie's coming out next. I never said It could be once. any movie. It doesn't matter what movie it is. No, no, yes, it could I be your question. dream project, and it would yeah, still I... not have the hype of Force Awakens. Yeah, it's impossible. The to only one that. bringing up for, Force Awakens hype is Star Wars only. I was just saying, no, it's it can't. It's not going to lead up. I agree well, with yeah. you, Longa. No, nothing Two billion dollars in the get box to office that. is going to be a hard thing. Yeah, I, I don't even remotely believe that it's going to get that. But I still think, and like I'm saying, if they both get a billion within that year, bro, Star Wars that'd be is fa- that'd back. be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be great. Be, it would be a smashing success. I would pop champagne with Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, I know. I'd be right there with you guys. If 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 back to back billion dollar movies, okay, wow. And if they're good, if they're decent to good, I'm gonna be on top of the world. And yeah, I would I'm even, gonna... I would even say, if they can make two billion combined, right? If one, makes if one, 1. makes, 3, the other if makes one makes one point three and one seven hundred, that's great. That's solid. I'd still then, tell you fuckers then, I was right, but still. But but, then, but hang on. But first of all, you will eat crow if Mando. I said crow one. I didn't crow. say which one would make one point three yeah. billion. And that's another question too. <laughs> oh boy, which one made it? Think, which oh boy, one made it? Think, uh, if you think Din Djarin's movie is going to make 1.3, I... Ooh. Oh, I can't... Oh, my God. Oh, I'm man. more hyped for Any You uh, you take a poll who of most so Star Wars right. fans. Anyone would probably guess... Okay, if you had to guess which one would make over a billion, Ray or Mando, most people are going to say, yeah, it's probably no, Mando. If, you, if you're putting a oh, gun to my yeah, head, no, it's no. probably Mando. The thing, <laughs> the thing with Jedi in it... Oh, you don't know what's happening in Mando and Grogu, brother. All right. Oh, well, oh I know, something. I know, I know. Season three I'm, was just exhilarating, and I, I mean, it was a cultural phenomenon, just and people wait. just can't just wait, wait for season bro. four. Oh, just oh, wait. I'll we wait. got two years. I'll wait when the reshoots start taking place at Pinewood. Fuck all studios. It's in the. It's in. It's in. It's in. Um. It's in L.A. now. So oh, that's right. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, up. cheaper budget. My bad. You don't even know. Sir. I know. I'm a fake fan. I'm not up to date. I'm a Star Wars news lore. Hundred percent are fake fan. That's why your name is Palp of Memes. Sir, um, but Patrol. no, 2026. Because you are a bro. meme of Chatooine, my friend. That is all you are. <laughs> I, only speak, I, speak the truth. I want right. to see. I cannot wait for this. No, At this point, Goldman. Goldman's been gone so long, he is literally just an NPC drawing. That's that's all he is. Well, he was actually just a figment of everyone's imagination. Um, <laughs> he, he never even existed. There was no Goldman. Um, but so, congratulations to him for getting 100 subscribers. Uh, to make sure you subscribe. And nice. Subscribers. Congratulations. A hundred thousand. Sorry, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. 100, 100, 100, 100. Congratulations for that one hundred. A lot more zeros <laughs> for me to add to that. It's, it is a big There's number. Two hundred, and that's our boy. So we're very proud of him. But no, yes. I'm excited for 2026 because now we get to have this debate. When 2027 comes around, we get the final box office numbers. Which one will be the future of Star Wars? The Ray or the? Oh the gosh, Mando God Grogu? help me if Din Djarin's the future of Star Wars. I'll shoot myself. 
It's been a pleasant ride ever since. Fuck. It's been more pleasant than. Hey raised. guys, let's um, get. Oh, he has to do another little mission because this shit. Ah, uh, hold on. I had to. I had to. This, this, where I had, this is where I have to part ways with you. I can't say Mando is the future of Star Wars because you have to have some mainline. Like, say the word that Pat means it. You have to have some mainline Jedi Jedi stories and stuff like that involving that for Along it to be the Brindis future of Star Wars. Is it, it part? Three. Is it part of the future oh, of Star Wars? Yes, but. Can't yeah, be part of the Star Wars yeah, yeah. And the, and the How many? Dad. How many? I got a question for both of you. Then, how many Ray movies are planned right now? One. How many Mando movies are planned right now? One. Two. That's because Fuck that's because your boy. That's because your boy. That's because your boy Filoni. It's gonna be. It's gonna be based on Dave how it does. Filoni and da John Favreau. Dave but, Filoni but no, 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 is not getting both, a two hundred fifty they, million they, dollar they, movie. They, that is they asinine. Are both confirmed right now. They, Dave Filoni walked out on stage at Celebration. Don't act like you don't remember because I remember. Right. Oh, and I remember when Ryan Johnson was saying, "Oh, my movie is still in the works. I'm just waiting for Kathleen Kennedy." He Which he has still not rolled that back. He still says it could happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. It could happen. For all we know, God help us all. It could happen. Star Wars. You know, only. Ryan is going to be 95 years old on his deathbed, going, "You know, I'm making a Star Wars trilogy, right?" Like, all right, Grandpa. Oh, all oh right. boy. Um, speaking of missions, last topic um, to end on a, a very depressing note. Star Wars Outlaws has pissed off the gaming community again within like a, a week or two. Um, this is according to IGN. Star Wars Outlaws prompted a collective sigh last week when it revealed that the single-player open-world adventure will have a season pass in addition to the nowadays common play-the-game early incentive attached to the pricey special editions. For an extra $40 with the Golden Edition for a total of $110 a season pass gets you two post launch expansions, some cosmetics, and an exclusive day one mission called Jabba's Gambits. Um, the later bonus triggered widespread um, fuming as it was possible to jump to the conclusion based on some perhaps ambiguous wording. But this mission um, was the one and only Jabba the Hutt mission in the game. Look at the headlines. You need a season pass to play Jabba the Hutt and, and this game and everything like that. Uh, Remember, Pat Neems, give us give us a bit of, a, a bit of a rundown of the situation because I know you're into the gaming stuff. There's a lot I want to say to this. There's a lot of words I want to use that I'm not allowed to use socially. Well, we don't got a lot of time. For the sake of this channel, uh, is it's it's. I'll use an R word and it's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. You are going to take content that is readily available at the launch of the game, cut it out, and say, actually, no, this is an appetizer. You got to pay more for it. What the fuck? Why would they do that? I'm not buying this game. Star Wars only. I know you said you're going to buy the game. You are a shill if you do. I'm sorry. This oh, game deserves that on bomb, me. No, you don't, you don't get to bomb. On me. It's going to be shit. And you don't get to it's put driven that on by me, a sir. woman. I owe my audience honesty. Whoa. And I've loaded on Whoa. Uh, what was that last line? It's driven it by a woman. <laughs> I, I, take, I take back. I, uh, what I meant to say was. So was <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, just, roll just that back. Let, uh, viewers, clip it. Just let clip the viewers it. Know, uh, can um, I just say? Can I just say how excited I am for the Ray movie? The, the, I just the, Ray, yeah. Ray is just <laughs> a phenomenal character. I just I'm very excited. Chatween is. Not I, I gotta say something. Is not Even though Chatween's views, just I don't there. usually get in deep involved in the um, gaming stuff, but I have been watching this and stuff like that. And, and, and I mean, I knew it was. I kept saying, "What did I keep saying last time when we were first talking about the game?" I'm like, oh, microtransactions are coming. Wait for the microtransactions. Oh, yeah, it's Wait for them to come. Yeah. Wait for them to come. But, and they came. Okay. Now, I know technically one isn't really a microtransaction. It's, oh, you get the, uh, but it's still an extra transaction to get the other extra stuff. It's garbage, right? It is garbage. And when you look at the game, um, I'm not into that whole everyone like screaming about, oh, she's ugly. She's ugly. Dude, come on. Uh, it, it, but the graphics don't look great. No, they don't. I think the facial they, animations, they, yeah, they don't. Right. I, they look like they did a way better job on, on, on you know, Jedi Survivor and, 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 and you know. And, and motion capture. Right. Or facial motion oh, capture. Oh, and, yeah. and that's right. what they did for Respawn's games. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, because they probably want to spend less money because that costs more money to do that. But, so, it is garbage, right? But it was expected because this, unfortunately, is the state where people are pissed off of gaming in general, not just Star Wars. This is happening in a lot of fucking games, and it's, it's a big topic. Which happens with a lot of games a lot. Now, some games come through and say, no, we're not doing that fucking bullshit, and people are happy, but it happens quite a bit. So that's it's actually not surprising to me. No, it's not. Um now what I have been reading though is 
they've been saying now that Jabba the Hutt is in the main game. It's just this one mission, which is about 10 or 12 minutes, they say, which I, it seems weird to me. I don't see it could be a 10 or 12 minute mission. Yeah. Um, that all that extra content is like 10 or 12 minutes of content. That's all that's which that you're paying extra ridiculous. for. If you're, if you're going to cut out like a sliver of my entree and call it an appetizer, I'm still going to get pissed off at you. Well, you're only missing a tenth of your pizza. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm still paying $20. Well, I mean, if you go to a restaurant and your meal, you know, you got the meal and it comes with two sides. If you want that third side, you, know, you got to pay extra for it. No, no, this is different. <laughs> They're taking the main When I want a T-bone. A sliver and cutting it off and being like, If I get like, a T-bone steak and they take out the bone, I'm, I'm, I'm going into the kitchen and me and Chef are going to have a very chef long Chef Ramsey will be there. How do you think, how yeah. do you think Gordon Ramsey will feel yes, about chef. that, Lunga? Yeah, exactly. No chef. He'd be pissed. It's yeah, fucking it's stupid. Cruel. Don't buy um, it after me. Only. Don't buy I it. am yeah, an yeah, idiot yeah. sandwich. I understand, you know, being upset about this and everything. Um, but I, who has not uploaded on my channel in many a long months, and I apologize, I've been busy with life. When these games come out and stuff like that, I like to give reviews. It's Star Wars. I yeah, call me a shill, but I'm someone who I'm not gonna critique something unless I have actually played it. Watched it, experienced it. It's the only reason I'm watching Bad Batch every, not week, but, you know, Blue Moon, when we got to do an episode about it. I watch Bad Batch. I don't like it. I don't want to. There's parts of it I like, parts of mostly I dislike, but I owe it to myself as a fan and, and the audience if I'm going to make content for the audience to, to play. So I will probably buy this game still, maybe later than when it comes out and everything. I might get the special edition so I get the full experience and get to be robbed fully. Because you know what? I'm voting so with my the only one who hates the Bad Batch, but even if we weren't doing the show, I'd still be fucking watching it. Yeah. I'd still be watching it. Absolutely. I, I would not. I didn't watch Tales of the Jedi. I didn't watch season two of Bad Bitch. I, I just didn't. <laughs> but, bad so, Bitch. Let me, bad let me, Bitch. Let me, let me, let me, you got, you're, you're on a, a lot of Freudian slips batch. tonight from you. <laughs> the is coming out in full today. Uh, but Star Wars only like like to wrap things up. Like I'm not saying the game's going to be bad. I, the game doesn't look good to me, and usually trailers are the opposite. They usually look great, and then uh uh then the game suck but for me it's just a matter of i tried this i i had your logic your mentality with lego star wars the skywalker saga i was not very excited for it i didn't think it looked that good i bought the gold edition which was like 70 flipping dollars day one i played it a matter of two days and regretted that purchase since and i'm i'm learning from that mistake it was so bad that I just I couldn't make content on it. I had nothing to say. No, and, and I liked and I mean honestly, I had the same experience with that. It's a very boring game, and I need to, I want to make a video about that still because I have not finished it. I haven't gotten past episode four or five, I think. Um, anywho, now I still. had the same experience with Squadrons, but I blame myself. Uh, yeah, because Squadrons I just can't. I just do right? not. I am too 40. old. Well, oh, 40. was it forty when it came out? I thought it was sixty yeah, when it came it, out. It was no, it was, it was a cheaper game. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, was it, yeah. forty dollars. But I blame myself for that. I'm at the age, my manual dexterity to do flight sim, flight sims and shit like that. I just do not have it. I just can't do it. It's all over the place. I'm like, where am I? Where am I? I just, <laughs> I just can't do you it. So I think VR I blame then. myself more. <laughs> no, yo, I can't. VR, I got, I've got, I've tried. VR. I got, a head, I get headaches. I love VR. I play VR for like hours straight. Never. I can't do it. Five minutes, I have a headache. Not me. Not me. Well, I'll do some Star Wars VR one day, but I need space, money, and a PC to run that shit. Well, that's but, why I don't do it anymore is because my house, I don't have anywhere to hook everything up. But when well, I, I mean, I had them. Oh, my gosh. But I took them down now, but my son gave Motion me his matches. HTC Vive. Yeah. And, and, and I was trying to... Uh, it was that one game. There's one sword and sorcery game where you can mod it to be Blade Star Wars. Sorcery. Blade that's and Sorcery. That's I played. That's the one that's I tried. I played. I tried it. I'm like, I want to do this, right? And I oh, did it. I could not great. more than it's five great. minutes. I, I'd, I'd get motion sickness. I'd get a headache. I couldn't do it. It off. is like the dream Star Wars experience for me. I mean, and it is so real, like, quote unquote, realistic for being VR. Like, it, it's just, especially with the Outer Rim mod, which is the main mod. It has like three million downloads. Like, it is, it is just the, it is like my, the most fun I've ever had with any Star Wars game ever, easily. I'll have to get it one day. Um, so I seem to be the only person who's probably going to be getting outlaws. Longa, you're not getting outlaws. No, all right. Oh, no. You're, you're not getting outlaws now. On. You're not getting outlaws now. Yeah, I need to get. I no, need to get and, back and I've, I've said this before. If it goes on sale for like fifteen bucks, which Ubisoft games usually do within like three to six months, then I I might buy it. Just because it's I wasn't like, okay, going to get bucks. it, even regardless of this negative stuff, I wasn't going to get it. So, <laughs> well, yeah, for me, I, I was very much looking forward to this game. I remember talking about it like. Oh, it's going to have all these different planets, Kajimi's in it and stuff, which I was very excited. And I saw the trailer that came out like six months ago, and I was like, what the hell is this? 
Well, I'm one and only. Star Wars only. But the shill. That's okay. this is chat to it. Oh, don't you start with the shill stuff. I remember I remember your past, sir. I I, I, I def- it's 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 what do they call that? What do they always say politicians do? Self uh It's alternative facts, sir. And it's like self deflection or whatever, whatever the fuck it is. Like well, we have the receipts. We have all our old episodes of Chatoon. We have all the receipts. I used to be a shill. I used to be a shill. I I it's okay. I was a shill. I've been a shill. I've been a shill at times too. I was extremely hyped for Rise of Skywalker. I, I really believed JJ was gonna turn that bad boy around, and boy did I eat crow. Um Let but, me, oh, I got some more I got some more pages of the script, Star Wars only. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. You well, fucking send, send hate that, it. Send that to me whenever your um secret source uh confirms that it's it's legally binding to be sent. Um but anyways, tune in in 2027 when we get all the box office numbers and Palpa Memes eats crow live on Chatooine um, when the Mando and Grogu movie makes a billion dollars and Ray and Grogu and Ray and Grogu, because that's what they're going to have to call it to get a mini money, is going to make about three bucks. Ray and Grogu. Oh, my gosh. Can yeah. you imagine it? That's the that's the that's the part two is just the Ray. That's how they're going to fucking do it, brother. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, can't get yeah, Omega think- back. Just put Grogu in there. John's not coming back. You guys fucked up too much. Um, but yeah, tune in for next week's episode. Uh, thanks for tuning into this one. I, I don't have the schedule made, but next week is the 24th, so we're going to do a Tales of the Jedi review at long last because we're going to get the Tales of the Empire show coming up on May 4th. So we don't have a lot of time to you know, prepare for that. So next week is uh, the 24th Tales of the Jedi review. May 1st, we're doing the Bad Batch series finale. Um, our final episode on the Bad Batch. I'm I'm gonna be really sad when that happens. Honest to God, that's been a quite a journey. It's it's basically been around for most of the show at this point. So we're gonna be losing a significant member of the family. And then May Fourth, we'll do a uh, May Fourth special when Tales of the Empire comes out. So stick around and don't forget 2027. Palp memes eat crow live on Chatooine. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and may the force be with you always. No, my button is not working. <laughs> Oh, my God.